my Paper Mario review, the N64 Paper Mario version, but, you know, I played it on the Nintendo Switch Maru, the, uh, you know, the online thingy. I always forget what it's called. It's, it's like an app. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, I played Paper Mario. And uh, by golly, it was amazing. Uh, I absolutely, positively, had a fantastically, beautifully timely with this game. It was, it was such a fun experience. It took me almost 28 hours to beat it, to complete it. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself for doing that, to be honest, because I feel like recently it's been a while since I've actually finished the game, right? And this is the third game I've finished in the last month that I'm like, that I'm like consistently finishing games now. And I'm, I'm really proud of myself because it's something that, I, again, I haven't done in a really long long time and the thing is I started I actually started Paper Mario like I've I've said in a couple videos but I've started a couple months ago it's been several months that I actually started it but my problem was that I started Superstar Saga you know Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and this one at the same time basically and I decided to stick with Superstar Saga and then I went down a whole rabbit hole because then I started to find out that it got a remake and then there was you know sequels of that game and then I started to play those and I got a whole bunch of you know I finished Superstar Saga for the GBA on the Nintendo Switch and then I played the remake on the 3DS and then I played the sequel Partners in Time and yeah and then I decided after that before I get into Bowser's Inside Story that I'll get into Paper Mario and I'll finish Paper Mario and I did and again it was awesome it was absolutely fantastic. Um, some of the things that I really enjoy about Paper Mario um, is that, like, although I can, like, create a suspended, you know, like, you know, quick save wherever I want because of the Nintendo Switch, like, they're very, they're very kind with, like, where they place the, um, the save spots, you know? And also, like, the, the hearts where you can, like, you know heal up all of your HP and FP, um, you know, points. It's very fair, like where everything's at. I like that a lot. It's very well balanced basically. Um, and honestly the game itself is, is structured really well in terms of gameplay, right? Like the, like in terms of like the damage that you can dish out and that you can take, it's very fair. It feels very fair. All the enemies are really well balanced in terms of when you fight them. Um, the only thing I, that kind of sucks is like when you go back to an easier area and like you fight a freaking normal toad, but you're only there because you have to like deliver a freaking letter or something <laughs> and you have to fight a Goomba, you know, like it, you don't get any uh, star points for it which kind of sucks because you're kind of like wasting time. But at the end of the day, you know, there is technically a like a badge that you can put on that like if you manage to hit the enemies that they like die like instantly, which, you know, speeds up the, the battle process. Um, but like in 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 newer games, because I, I it's probably just like a mechanic they didn't think of at the time. Like in newer games, if you if you get near a a, a you know, like a weaker enemy and the enemy knows that you're like overpowered, they'll just run away, you know, like they won't even fight you. And so obviously, like I can't knock the game for not having that because again, it's probably like something that wasn't even thought of at that time because this game came out freaking 2001, bro. It's been a while. So, you know, fans, JRPG fans, RPG fans in general are probably spoiled by now with like newer mechanics. But anyways, the point is, I mean, that was kind of a con. It was, it's, I'm nitpicking though at this point. Like, but like, besides that, like it was really well balanced is what I'm trying to say. Like, 
the enemy differences. I like oh, the thing I love about Paper Mario, and honestly, the Mario RPG games as a whole, they really know how to make like the Mario universe into RPG games. Like it's it's almost as if like this was supposed to be Mario, like really, because like man, like bro, all of the different like types of Goombas there are, all of the different types of Koopas there are, it's like so creative. Like the characters they come up with is is so creative, so well done. Goomba Mario, Goompa, freaking Goompa, freaking. You know, the, the, the family of the Goombas are so adorable. I love them so much. You know, Cooper is great. Colorado and his wife are a hoot. Literally had me dying. Colorado is like such a goofball. Like he's such a funny NPC. It's hilarious. I love him and how like <laughs> focused on adventure he is. But at the same time, at the end of the game, his wife was like, so mad at him that she basically threatened to leave him and he like ran home before they were going to go on to an expedition which was basically cancelled right off the bat like the humor of this game is freaking incredible top notch freaking humor like it had me laughing so many different times the, the, the story in this game is so 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 good like it's a classic Mario story where you know, somehow the stars are in trouble and you have to save the stars somehow and you get star power and, you know, it's a classic, it's literally a classic Mario game mixed into an RPG, you know, story-wise, character-wise, but it's done so well and it's like, it's it's, it's it's its own thing that it really sets itself apart and I think that's why, I mean, this was the first Paper Mario game. This is where it started, right? Like, th I, and I think the reason why the series became so successful, eventually they messed it all up. Now, I, I've, I heard it wasn't necessarily the team's, you know, fall. It was mostly like, like you know, the, the actual Mario, you know, executives or whatever were like basically telling like the Paper Mario series to like calm down with their creativity which sucked and you know that's why the series eventually basically just kind of died honestly um because the direct the direction they were going with like game mechanics and stuff and stuff like that but anyways like this game it makes so much sense as to why it became so successful like the paper mario series as a whole like again the characters are so creative so great your party members are absolutely just excellent. I love, I mean, not every single one of them hit it out of the park. There are some that are better than others. Like off the top of my head, I absolutely loved like Goomba Mario, like I said. Uh, Cooper was good. Uh, Bow, Bo, Bo, the, the female Boo is fantastic. I love her design, I love her personality. Watt is great although he didn't have much of a personality i love his design and like how useful he is like i used him basically the whole game once i got him uh sushi is great i love her story as well her backstory how like she has a freaking daughter like you learn that she has a daughter and like that her daughter was riding her and she's like proud of her and stuff which was adorable um you know freaking <laughs> Lachilister or whatever the Latiku that joins you is hilarious, bro. That kid, that kid is so funny, bro. He's like, <laughs> he made me laugh so much. Him and his girl were hilarious together. Um, yeah, oh, man, it's so good. And like, yeah, just all the characters you meet in this world are just absolutely fantastic. One of the last areas is like Shiver City with the penguins. That place like had me rolling i was freaking dying laughing like the freaking mayor you know you go to talk to him and he's like dead supposedly and his wife just just completely just starts like accusing you of murder and just like starts going crazy and like the the investigator of the city comes and like puts you like under 
house arrest, basically. Then you find out, you know, there's a novelist in the city, in the village that's famous and, like, everyone loves his novels. And then, basically, the wife was, like, over-exaggerating to, like, a crazy degree because she's basically, like, a like addicted to these, like, stories, these murder mysteries. <laughs> and then... You know, she just accused you because she's insane. And it's hilarious because you'll, like, talk to her again afterwards. And even at the end of the game. And she'll, like, obviously be trying to, like, not talk to you. Because she'll, like, be saying in her dialogue, like, Anyways. So, like, trying to, like, get you to go away. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. It's so freaking funny, dude. Like, this game. And then you find out the mayor was just knocked out because he like is super careless and just knocks himself out like apparently he usually does so everything was just it was freaking hilarious like it's just the the humor in this game is so good so freaking good dude and I loved it I loved it I'm kind of sad I didn't get like some sort of penguin like party member that would have been amazing because they were so great and so funny like all even like while this whole mystery was going on this murder mystery case and you couldn't leave the city like the penguins themselves would like trap you and like tell you uh uh-uh, uh you can't you can't leave and they'd be like oh man i thought you're such a cool guy but i guess you're a murderer you know it was so freaking funny bro and then there's like a group outside of the mayor's house like all just like you know gossiping about the situation Oh my gosh, bro. Freaking hilarious. And then besides that, the freaking charm, even with the penguins, but also like the stars, the star kids are adorable. Twink is a freaking adorable little party member that's not like really a party member, but kind of. And like was a oh so cute when he was like mad when you had to like fight Cami Koopa with him. He was like he was like mad. He was like moving, like he was angry. And he was so adorably cute and like he got stronger because Peach would pray to him, you know, or to the stars and like he became stronger and he beat up Cami Koopa and it was adorable. And just overall, this game, oh my gosh, it was just so good. I like I'm basically all over the place with my thoughts on this game, but I just freaking loved it so much. And just like again, the humor was great. Like I love all the mini games like Mario games. RPG games I keep noticing are like all about mini games like the fighting is always like a little mini game because like you have to like learn each enemy's patterns of attack to like see if you can dodge them or like counter attack somehow or even like you know even when you're attacking them you have to figure out their weak spots and it's kind of like its own little game at the same time um yeah it's just great it's great and this game itself it's kind of kind of cheap in a way because like badges are like super overpowered like you could totally be hella op with badges like i maxed out badge points which i never did the first time around when i played this game i had no idea i didn't understand anything really but like now i like understand understood like whoa dude bp is overpowered as hell like and i would like try and get like you know better badges with like turning in the star you know the star fragments or whatever it was like it was just but overall it's still like it was still balanced in a way right like it kind of made it easier but not at the same time because it also limits you at 30 like you can't get past 30 bp which i think was smart because again you would just be insanely overpowered with badges badges are opaf bro so it was great it was great it really was like and then the secrets and the you know little secrets in the in the world where you have to use each party member to like learn things or even the abilities when you're learning new abilities like you know first you get the ground pound you know jump and then you can start breaking like little like things on the floor and then you start thinking like oh wait now i can go back to this area because there's a board i can break and reach like a new area you know, or like the abilities of the party members, like sushi, for example, then you, you realize like, Oh wait, you can swim in water now. Like, Oh, I can go back to toad town and get to that freaking star fragment. That's been like 
literally staring at me the whole game that I couldn't get, even though I could technically jump over the fence, but it wouldn't let me. Because, yeah, I have to swim there with sushi. Okay, let's go back and get that Stark Fragment sort of thing. And, dude, it just... the freak. One of the funniest parts, too, is Luigi. Dude, I don't know why, but Luigi, for me, consistently is becoming, like... In all of these games, in all of these RPG games I've been playing recently of, of Mario, he has, like, the best personality, bro. He has been making me laugh so freaking much. And in this game specifically, like all of his comments, every time you do something new or progress in the story are hilarious. And not just that, but once you actually unlock the ground pound ability, you go back to your house and you learn that Luigi like literally (laughs) makes what he recreated the house. He built a basement under the house just to write in a diary about how jealous he is of Mario (laughs) and him going on his own adventure. He even says at one point, like, man, I really hope I get my, I get to go on my own adventure someday or whatever. And like the whole, he has like 10 pages, different pages at least of like different situations after you like progress in the story of him just talking about like oh yeah mario did this great good for him freak man like oh i want to go on an adventure you know too as well or whatever like oh my gosh but it's so funny bro like it's just funny and then you'll talk to him and he'll like pretend like you don't know like because he he obviously doesn't know that you know you know but you're staring at him like you do and it's hilarious because he's like like he totally it's just like you know it's it's as if that diary doesn't exist because he genuinely believes you've never found it or don't know, know about it it's so funny bro it's just hilarious like i i've said this so many times in this video but i absolutely love the humor in this game it's so damn good bro it is hilarious i loved this game so much and the good the thing is too it's like I actually forgot about a lot of stuff in this game. I actually, I don't think I even actually beat it the first time I played it. Cause like I I started getting to a point, like, especially in the later game, like I think like, I don't remember Yoshi's Island, bro. That whole situation, the volcano. I don't, I for sure didn't remember the crystal palace like at all. And then Bowser's castle was totally new to me. Like, and then even his boss fight and stuff, like, was dope. Like, like it wasn't anything new technically compared to, like, Bowser's power-ups from, like, what he always gets in games. He just basically gets bigger or whatever, you know. Um, but, like, th- the whole experience was very new because I've never, I've never played it before. Like, not, you know, I, I don't think I've ever actually finished the game because I, I know I finished Thousand Year Door. I know I did that. But I don't. I I never finished pa- Paper Mario, so I'm really glad I did because again, it it was so it was so good, bro. Like such a great great game, so damn just hilarious, fun, great adventure, fantastic cast of party members. You know the story was great. Um, you know, Bowser oh, was great as well. All the enemies were very well written, as always. Yeah, Paper Mario is just, it just does an amazing, amazing job. I loved it so, so much. I had a blast with this game. I honestly don't think I had any cons besides little nitpicks that I mentioned in like the beginning of the video, basically. Um, I do, I do, I do, I will say though, there's, there are times that like it, I don't know if it's just because I'm dumb, but there was some stuff that like I didn't get right away that I had to look up guides for like some, some puzzles. The ones that like immediately come to mind is like the Bowser's castle candle one where it's like a endless room. If you're not doing it correctly, dude, I could not figure it out on my own. And then I didn't, I didn't realize that the freaking candles in the beginning of the floor actually gave away which corridor you're supposed to go through. So I felt kind of dumb afterwards, but there was, uh, there was a couple of those moments where I just felt like I needed to look up a guide because I was kind of lost. And so, 
Yeah, but I don't necessarily think that's the game's fault 100%. Maybe it is, but I don't know. Like, that that might be my only con. I just feel like the information sometimes wasn't explained very well. Or, like, some of the things were a little just a little too obscure on how to like solve the puzzles and like, or some of the, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like, maybe again, it, maybe it's just a me problem, but whatever I did, I did run into some hiccups where I was like genuinely like, Oh shoot. Like, what do I do now? Like, what, where do, where do I go? Or I'm lost or whatever. But anyway, so yeah, it was still fun though. It was still absolutely a blast. So anyway, yes, those were my thoughts on paper mario absolutely loved it um yeah let me know your thoughts have you guys played this game uh are you thinking about playing the game you know have you tried it out if you haven't you totally should but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts on my video on my thoughts um yeah let's talk about it and uh yeah guys as always uh if you'd like to you know support me a little bit like and subscribe that's the easiest way to do it if you want to chat with me and awesome people a little bit more and talk about great games in like a very positive community you know join my discord i'm, I'm proud to say that i feel like i have a very good you know bunch of people you know uh we try and be as positive as possible and and uh you know very friendly and talk about games because that's what we want to talk about and yeah and then i've got some projects that i'm doing as well if you want to support that all of that's in the description of the video join as a member that'd be great that'd be another way to support me as well but yeah that's basically it for the video thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next one peace